Hello everyone, welcome in Ocean of Tech and I am Shazeb Khan. So today it's another video on drone development and in this video I am going to explain about the ESCs, about the functions, calibrations, how to calibrate ESCs and firmwares and all. So if you are beginners then watch the full video. Starting with what is ESC? ESC is known as Electronic Speed Controller. ESC does some great jobs with motors to rotate motor. So ESC convert DC power coming from battery to AC which is going in motor. So some of the wires which are visible in front of you are the three wires coming out from the ESC which directly goes to the motor. The three wires connected with this three wire. On the other side, the two wires, red and black, is known as for power, to powering up the AC. So you can connect it with the battery or the chassis. Now the third wire which is known as servo wire. It's a servo wire but it's a battery eliminating circuit which is known as BEC. So BEC is, BEC is, BEC does that 5 volt of output with 2 amps to powering the receiver or to powering the flight controller so BAC works for that now the BAC have two wires one negative and positive here red and black is for the BACs and the third wire which is white is known as for signal so signal wire is to for reaction of the ESC if you in market oh, there are many ESC available with different shapes and size and mainly categorized in different amps. Coming on the next, how to choose ESC for your motor. So for choosing ESC for the motor, first you need to know how much your motor needs amp. So if you know that this motor needs 25 amps to run on a propeller, then you can easily find a perfect ESC. So for example, my motor runs on 25 amps and I am having this ESC of 20 amps. If I connect this 20 amp ESC with this motor, it will burst because the load will be overloaded because this, uh, this mo ESC is 20 amps and the motor minimum requirement is 25 amps. So it will burst. Now if you think that I can purchase ESC with the amps of 25 then it will also add dangerous because sometimes when you are flying machine in the air it can generate more power or rotate faster so it will be danger for the ESC your ESC may be get heat up and can burst also so I recommend it to you that uh, buy a ESC with minimum 30 amps if your motor requires 25 amps so if you bought a 30 amps ESC for your motor then it will work perfect here I am having the 30 amp Simon K ESC now the choosing of ESC is quite simple if you know the requirement amps of, for the motor now here is a term Simon let me focus it Simon what is Simon Simon is a firmware Simon is a firmware which is uploaded to this ESC so let's talk about the firmware now so there are several firmwares available in ESCs for example traditional type Simon K which I am having right now and BL Heli these are the e firmware which are on the ESCs so let's talk about traditional first traditional ESC are perfect for planes and helicopter so traditional ESCs are best for planes and helicopter traditional ESC are quite simple and can set up via radio control so you can directly set up the traditional ESC with your radio setup or software card so it's quite simple and can be used for helicopter or the plane now the Simon K ESCs which I am having right now in my hand Simon K ESC Simon K ESC are one of the best ESC for multi-copter comes with a specialized firmware 
so simon k esc if you are using simon k esc for your multicopter then it's a best option simon k esc is best for multicopter and come with the specialized c firmwares for the work simon k esc are very fast and response Sieve ESC react very quickly and it's plug and play type ESC. So it's plug and play. Connect your wire here, motor wire. Connect your battery. Connect it with receiver. Calibrate and now it's done. So Simon K ESCs are also very simple ESCs and it's only for multi rotors, multi copters. So if you are trying to purchase ESC for your multi-copter then Simon K is best option and this select your amps of the Simon K ESC and buy a Simon K ESC BL Heli is also same as Simon K ESC but BL Heli have the ability to change elements like traditional using PC software so BL Heli is also a same as Simon K but BL Heli have the ability to change the settings of the ESE with the PC software mainly BL Heli ESE is better for low speed motors and uh, motors with big prop or very low KV motors so if you are if you are having very low KV motors with big props then BL Heli is good choice for you so you can buy a BL Heli if you are using the motors big motors so these are the species and firmwares of the ESC. Now let's calibrate ESC. Now let's calibrate the ESC. So calibrating ESC you need a receiver, 6 channel receiver or 10 channel depending on you. A battery with a transmitter. So let's connect the wire, first motor wire to the ESC. So connecting the motor wires to the ESC you can connect the last wire the last motor wire to the ESC's last wire middle one goes in middle and the last one goes directly in last if you want to change the direction of the motor if the motor is rotating anti-clockwise sorry anti-clockwise then you can change this wire with this and this wire with this so the motor rotation will automatically change now connect with the receiver so here I am having the servo wire so connect it with the third channel of the receiver which is a throttle first check the which channel is on the throttle mainly it's on third channel so connect it on third checking that the white will goes on the signal and uh, red and black to power it up the powering up the receiver now let's connect this wire to the battery I connected so right now I am not connected with my battery so before connecting the battery first you all need to switch on your transmitter do the throttle at the maximum position at the end over here now connect the ESC ESC to the battery now the sound will be occurred TDD then put down this now the another sound will come now it's done now pull the throttle on now you can see my motor is running see sometime it may be dangerous You can see gradually speed decrease and increase so these are the steps to calibrate the ESC or to connect with the receivers or flight controllers so thank
thanks for watching this video guys hope you like this video if you like the video then hit the like button and if you have any problem then comment in the comment section and if you not subscribe the channel till now then subscribe have a nice day guys.